What is up, YouTube? I am Aries, and welcome to my channel, um, Keep It a Buck Podcast slash Reaction Channel. Um, today, I'm reacting to Simba with the LA Lakers freestyle. So let's get into it. Um, I've seen a lot of people sp speak highly of this freestyle, so I'm excited to get into it. Um, I've seen a clip of this. It's like 30 second clip of this on Twitter already. But um, yeah, I'm excited to see the the whole thing and. But yeah, this is my first time actually hearing of Simba, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, but like the like the video, comment, and subscribe. I hope I earn your your subscription with this reaction. So let's get into it. L.A. Leakers, just incredible. <laughs> DJ Sour Milk in the yeah. East Bay and stepped into the Bay L.A. Area, Leakers we here. studios. Right, they, let, they, let, they let a motherfucker from Antioch make it to the Leakers. <laughs> we here, Y'all are fucked up now. <laughs> Simba's here. Let's go. Well, to set a tone, baby. Come on. Check. I mean, using this beat, like, this is like a, if you want to have a good a good freestyle, this is like a perfect beat to, to use, so... Let's see. Let's see what Simba got. All right, feel me on this, Jay. Story. I say, look, with so much to say, where should I start? They finally let the best kept secret come out the vault. I played my part and I never took shit to heart. So now that I got my time, y'all niggas gonna let me talk. I'm young, but I seen a lot. At 16, I watched the fans hit the spot and run in my mommy's restaurant. Mm. I watched my cuz sniff dope through a neti pot. That's why I care less about these rappers turned debutantes. I was independent at 14. All right, hold on, hold on. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I love how he's very just nonchalant, just sitting back and just spitting, like, just realness. And, um, like, the 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 realness and the imagery of his cousin sniffing dope through a neti pot. I mean, a neti pot, I like, oh, man. But, I like, I think he's just giving off that vibe of just, Man, I don't know. Just, there's just something about his laid backness and his like his very nonchalant vibe of him spitting these bars is crazy. Like it's, it, it makes it even crazier for some reason. So I don't know. But yeah, let's just go back a little bit. I'm young, but I seen a lot. At 16, I watched the fans hit the spot and run in my mommy's restaurant. I watched my cuz sniff dope through a neti pot. That's why I care less about these rappers turned debutantes. I was independent at 14 when Webby dropped. Having rap battles with Twine and Fats and Nanny Yacht. With one eye on the prize like Fetty Wap. I went into a pool full of money and did a belly flop. Hey, Jay. The, I was independent at 14 when Webby dropped. Webby was on, made that song of the independent, the... You know he spells out the and the he spells out that word in the hook, but so he was an independent artist when Webby dropped at fourteen, and then he says the um, got one eye on the prize like Fetty Wap, like bro, again while he's just sitting back very nonchalant, like I don't know what it is about his that demeanor that just makes his bars so cold, like it just I don't know it just adds that little thing to it, like it's crazy man. Pot. That's why I care less about these rappers turned debutantes. I was independent at 14 when Webby dropped. Having rap battles with Twine and Fats and Nanny Yacht. With one eye on the prize like Fetty Wap. I went into a pool full of money and did a belly flop. Hey, Jay. I was on the phone with Wallow and he was telling me to watch out for these hoes I knocked. Okay. Yeah, I had to tell him that I ain't no nigga who just started getting pussy because his song got hot. I had a car before I had a daydream. Okay. I had a crib before I knew how to cook when I was like 18. Makes sense. Most nights it was Top ramen and baked beans, but I'll thug it out before asking moms for anything. Mm. Now I'm in the hills with no. Bro, let's go. Dog, the. He said he would like thug it out before he, moms, before he asked his mom for anything. Like, he, he's going to get it on his own or he's going to go through whatever he needs to go through before he asks his mom for any help or anything like that. So, I mean, respect to, respect to that. Like, but. Man, he's just giving us he's just giving us realness and I, I'm loving it. I love I love this talk. Like the the I mean they're not like crazy bars with like wordplay and whatever, but I love but they're bars in a way of like it's just real 
his realness. It's, it's talk. He's talking his talk. He, he's in his own bag. So, I, I mean, I love this talk. Like, I love when rappers or artists get into this, their their bag of just talking their shit, like where they're from or the realness or, the you know, come from the gutter or whatever. But, man, I, I love it. Let's, let's go back a little bit. I had a crib before I knew how to cook when I was like 18. Most nights it was top ramen and baked beans, but I thug it out before asking moms for anything. Mm, yes. Yeah, now I'm in the hills with no service, trying to dodge bitches who fucking without a purpose. I will never let a woman make me feel less of a man because I don't want to buy a Birkin. Oh, you send me okay. back to the streets and I send you back to your mama house. Happy hour dining, free drinks, and back to your mama couch. You just want a nigga with status to feel established, but it ain't enough room in this farm for all your baggage. Mm. There's a certain addiction said you just want a man with status to feel established like you want to be with him because he has you know some type of status but it'll help you have status as well but it's like there's not enough room in this car for your baggage it's like oh gosh oh man the the cleverness and the and the talk and the way he's in his bag but there there's some there's some there's some wittiness to it too so I love it. Like the, my car is too small for all your baggage. Baggage as in yeah, bags, little like literally bags, but kind of like for all all the shit that you got. There's like there's not enough space for that. So you know, man, man, um, I'm I'm just like a minute and thirty in is crazy, bro. Yeah, I was down in free drinks and back to your mama couch. You just want a nigga with status to feel established, but it ain't enough room in this form for all your baggage. Yeah. There's a certain addiction with niggas and tricking that make it hard for women to tell who isn't. See, you sort of Jordan Pippen, you score in the system. I'm like Stockton and Malone. Once I pick him, I'm on roll. I'm mm. gonna hit him and get gone. I know that's probably wrong, but I married this money and I can't break a happy home. We about to drop the tape, so it's time that I set the tone. Let's get it. Got me in my zone. But here we on, look. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we got the what a fire extinguisher is that here, man. For real, dog. Tell him, hold on, say, hey, to all y'all in my DM about a feature, I'm only giving verses for the leakers. Thank I didn't work too hard to give verses this hard for niggas who budget that can't cover my sneakers. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Lord Jesus. My bars on some vet shit. Rookie of the year, I've been on my Lewis belt shit. They tell me slow it down for a second. But I'm like a crackhead who don't listen. I just can't help it. The mood on Mamba, look how he been in the genre. He's so big, Papa. Who else can make eight different flows doing entendre? I can double them, I can triple them, I can chop them, I can speed the flow up, slow him down. Oh man, that it's so tough. Like that's so tough. Like who else can make a bar doing an entendre? Like an, an entendre. Oh man. Again, again, I'm gonna say this again. I just love how he's just very just relaxed with everything he's saying. Like he's just, he's that confident in himself and what he's saying. Like it's, it, there's no lie in what he's saying. Like that's what he's giving off. It's crazy. Swap. And I can pretty much do anything but stop. I come from a place where they hate to see you on top, but love when you on the block. And once you start getting money, they look at you like a op. Oh. My mama mm. always said treat the janitor like a boss, because everybody plays a role to keep you from taking a loss. Fact. Honesty is preferred. Respect is what you earn. Trust is something you gain when loyalty is returned. I'm out in Turks, plot no property in the burbs. Try not to splurge and get the ghetto back from the nerds. With this billion dollar vision, that's worth to my nigga Bird. Can't be behind gates from a selfish mistake. He's niggas wait until it's too late to do straight and try to recycle the same people that they threw away. Never get paper to turn plastic. Bottle your actions and chase Bro, your- what is happening right now? Like, uh, I'm just gonna... Earn trust is something you gain when loyalty is returned. I'm out in Turks, plot no property in the burbs, trying not to splurge and get the ghetto back from the nerds. With this billion dollar vision, that's worth to my nigga Bird. Can't be behind gates from a selfish mistake. These niggas wait until it's too late to do straight and try to recycle the same people that they threw away. Never get paper to turn plastic. Bottle your actions and chasing your satisfaction through bitches' reactions. Give me another one. I'm crazy. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Mr. LA Leak. Hey, when they start talking that uh top five. Five new West Coast artists that reason and boogie yeah put me in there. Uh, they put me talk in your there. shit. Talk that. They gotta put me in there. <laughs> Let's keep going. Shout reason, put shout me in boogie. There. Simba's in the building though. Yes sir. You know why they gotta put me in there, Mill? Let them know. Let them know. Put me in there. Talk to them. Cause look. 
white guy out of crib in LA in the crib out in Vegas. Got rid of the Mozzie and bought a Mercedes. I signed a deal for like seven figures, but the hustle in me still don't feel like I made it. Straight out the bay where we rarely make it. Keep my niggas with me when I'm on vacation. I got the north and the east and the west with me. I be feeling like Fabby Davis. I'm trying to get my niggas out the streets, get them some money and get out the beef. I done lost so many niggas that I could have saved if I wasn't chasing a dream. This rollie on me hit for 23. I put VVS diamonds in every piece. Just in case haters don't understand why I'm feeling myself like I lost my keys. She want me to fly out to Belize. <laughs> oh my gosh. Feeling myself like I lost my keys. Like, I love how he's doing the motion too. Like, he's doing the action of trying to like fit on himself. And then he kind of just threw it in that bar of like, like I lost my keys almost. Like, man. If I wasn't chasing a dream, this rollie on me hit for 23. I put VVS diamonds in every piece. Just in case haters don't understand why I'm feeling myself like I lost my keys. She want me to fly out to Belize, but she would never give her back to the street. She was so bad that I had to hit her, but she got to a test that she don't want to leave. You fucking with them, you can't fuck with me. Them niggas ain't got nothing you need. Straight out the bay, I be running with cash. I called Nep to get a P to the D. What's happening? Yes. Hey, what? I thought a fuck nigga said something. Oh, you niggas ain't really getting bread, huh? Oh, you niggas just talking that. <laughs> wait, hold up. Wait, I thought a boosie bitch said something. She ain't give me no play from the jump. Now she want to fuck me because my bread up. What's wrong with him, Jay? Hold up. What's wrong with him, Jay? Hold up. That, the, the, east, the water in the East Bay is different, Come bro. Come on, man. What's Come on, going man. on? Come on, man. Rappers. Shout out to the Bay, man. See what's yeah. going on? Simba's here. Yeah. yeah. Put them in your motherfucking list, man. Come on, man. The we list, the, from now on, the new top five list ain't accurate if Simba ain't in there. Now, I'm not talking about overall top five. I'm talking about new niggas. Yeah. But Talk you your shit. The new niggas, I'm in that. You in that What's mix? What's up, Reason? What's up, Boogie? Yeah. Listen us, man. Thank you for... I need one of my bitches in the bay. Ah, uh, okay. I'm guessing that's it for the freestyle, but... Man, I think the dopest part about this freestyle... Yes, I loved how he was talking, and I loved what he was spinning, right? But I loved, and I said it many times in this reaction, like I just love his his laid backness while talking, you know that his talk, you know, I like I loved it, like very nonchalant, just you know that confidence was was beaming off of him. But I think that's why I loved most about it, like he was so confident in himself, speaking what he was talking. And just, yeah, I enjoyed that part of anything. Like, I think that made this freestyle that much more impressive. Like, you know how people get up and they're just wilding with motion and throwing their hands and raising their voice and whatever. Maybe that's the way they rap, but I loved how he was just very, just one tone, but just speaking in his bag and just was giving us realness along with, you know, other bars and wittiness. But I just loved his his demeanor. Like that was dope, the dopest thing to me, but um, but yeah, that's the end of, end of the reaction. If you guys want me to react to more Simba, put it down in the comment section. Uh, like the video, comment, and um, yeah, I hope I earned your subscription with this reaction. Uh, thank you guys for checking me out. If this is your first time, I hope you subscribe. And uh, yeah, just very gr uh, blessed and grateful for the views and everything. So, uh, yeah, keep it a book. Could be worried about a bitch, but I'd rather be worried about some money, baby. Can't let them knock me out my pivot. Can't let them knock me out my pivot. So, girl, don't be looking for love if you're fucking with me, cause you won't find none.